Hey everybody, wanted to kind of give an update of where I'm at. I uh, played around with a few more things, getting ready to do to a test. Um, wanted to show you a few things that I learned that are, uh, I think, pretty interesting. First off, um, I wanted to try the alternate UI um, that's just called Marlin Color UI instead of the uh, TFT LVGL that comes with a Neptune by default. I like it better. Um, really like it better because I use Octoprint, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, but anyway, I'm going to start that up and run through the interface really quick and then tell you what um, ideas I got and what I'm getting ready to test. Okay, so it's booting up. And you can see it's just a touch screen. Doesn't have all the prettiness of uh, LVGL UI. Um, right now, you'll see it's live questioning kind of what my deal is with my um, X axis and things like that. Um, I can actually home everything right here. And I'll stop complaining about that. Um, what's neat about this is you get real-time feedback. You really can't see on this screen. I can adjust the Z right here. It's just the video. You can make out, it's a little dark, but you can make out the colors. Another thing is I, I would like to try to get a black background on here. Still trying to figure that out if you know how to do that. Anyway, I'll go back while it's homing, which it's not letting me do because it's doing something, I think. Um, one thing you'll notice at times is it's not quite as responsive, especially in this bottom right-hand corner for some reason. Anyway, if I had an SD card here, I could click click that and load my files. I do have an SD card in here, but there's nothing in there. Um, oh, there's a GTIP code file. I have no idea what it is, so I'm not going to print it. But if I did want to print it, I could click that. Just like that. Anyway, it would come back to this screen with a few different things if it was printing. I'll show you that later. As far as settings go, the menu is a little different. You can scroll through. I've changed it so that it's a single touch interface. But anyway, you can get printer info, information on your thermosistors, uh, your board info, all that. Um, again, configuration. You can check your BL touch settings here. You can stow or deploy the deploy the pen from here. You can have it test where it constantly runs. Um, anyway, that's how that works. Live Z off stepping is here. I'll show you that later. Um, well, basically what you would do is during the print, you would go into the settings and then you can actually live. There's a option to change that. All right, I gotta go back. All right, um, like I said, I really like using this with Octoprint. I'll be back in one second to show you why. Okay, I'm back. I'm not sure how well you can see both screens. I'm trying to show uh, one of my uh, computer screens as well as the new uh, screen up top. Um, you can see it says the bed's heating up. Um, oh, that's because I started to print. Um, I did actually cancel that. So what's really interesting here is when I am connected, um, one of the things I noticed was the baud rate is doubled. Um, so communication is much snappier. Um, here's the camera that I use. Um, Right now, you can see on the screen below, I'm moving it around. It's pretty much going in real time. It used to be very laggy for me in certain aspects, but it looks like that baud rate really sped that up. And I am running Wi-Fi. Um, you know, this laptop's running on Wi-Fi, and I had a lot of problems with that. But um, I'll sh you'll see some stuff with that later. But anyway, it really improved that. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to share. Also, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a test with change filament at um, layer. So I've carved this cube up into two layers. So 50% will be purple, 50% will be white. I'm going to run that and see how that goes. So I'm going to get that print job started and um, then show you the screen and kind of what's going on. Okay, my print job started. You can see it running now. Um, this is what I love um, about this configuration is the screen actually tells me what's going on. Um, if you use the LVGL UI, you're not going to get any information. This is telling me, you know, the percent, how many layers I got and, you know, how long it's been printing, what my current fan is, what my bed temp is, my uh, nozzle temp. Here I can go and tap um, here and I can tune. And here I can change various things like the fan speed, the flow, and of course on the next screen, 
Z offset. So you can do that live Z right there. All right, I'll be back in a, a little bit. So my nozzle cooled down because I took too long and for some reason I had a heck of a time changing the filament. Don't know why, um, but you can see, loaded it with some white filament. This print may fail, that filament's trash for some reason. It snaps really easy, but um, I'm just testing the filament change, so don't really care. But it'd be nice to get a full cube out of this, so we'll see what happens. Um, it's heating up pretty quick. One thing I also did was I did bump the temperature at this layer change, so I'm curious to see if it actually takes. Um, but right now, we'll take a look and see what it's doing. I think it's gonna do a purge. So it moved, parked over here, and I think it's gonna try to you know load the filament and do a purge. Um, I've never done this before all the way, uh, ran a quick test, so uh, we'll see what happens. All right, it's almost to the target point. You can hear it counting. All right, insert filament, and I'm pressing continue. The stepper's running. Let's see here. I see some filament being purged. Yeah, my bed's kind of not aligned. Sorry. Uh, it should be spitting out on the bed. But anyway, yay. Now I have the option to purge more or continue. Filament, still a little pink. Um, this is just a test. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And here we go. Let's see how it does. All right. I'll show you the final result when we're done. All right. I saw my finger on the top of the screen, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful this time when I show you this. But here is the final result. And it did it automatically. All right. Y'all take care. Bye.